All right, Barack the Yahweh. Barack the Yahweh. Barack the Yahweh Shai. 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 All praise to Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles of great millstones and honors and salutations to all you Akim out there laboring in this truth and sincerity. Good. All right, so now we're going to go, you know, go in the spirit. It's going to be like almost a, uh, it's a various topic, but it's dealing with the uh, destruction, the impending destruction that's coming. You know, we're, what, a day away, from, less than a day away from uh, the, inauguration. the inauguration of the so-called elect President Donald Trump. And there's a lot of things that's happening that's brewing in the midst. You know, it's a lot of things that, that are about to take place. So um, you said you, you got a scripture. Cut. So you get, get that scripture and then Lord willing, we'll hit uh, a few other scriptures. We go to Nahum, Nahum yep. third chapter, Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter. Cut. You know, hey, we're just going to roll, roll through with the prophecies, man. Yeah, because it's a time we're in, man. Yeah. You know, uh, Psalms 107 and 1. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Oh, the 107 or 109? 109. But anyway, yeah, hey, well, hey, 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 you still got hey, age. Hey, you got to give thanks hey, to the Lord. Hey, that's right, man. You know, do this. That's why you see, with the beginning of the show, we say Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, which is what? Blessed be the Most High in the name of, the name of his son. You know, because we living in those times where you got to call on Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, because we in them, like the scripture speak of the perilous times and, and the time that nev never was. We in those times where we really got to cleave on to the Lord and we got to be more into these scriptures, man. So that's why you see the spirit getting on the apostles and, and the elders and other brothers that sit there and push this word at a high clip. And a lot of people don't like it. A lot of scoffers get mad. A lot of Edomites are getting mad. But that's beautiful because this word is doing what it got to do. This is what the Lord said it was going to do. And basically, the, the truth the truth pisses a lot of people off, man. That's one of the purposes of the truth. The truth is to piss a lot of people off. And we can see mission accomplished, man. All right? Because Esau is getting mad. They're trying to scramble to take you know take down these sites, take down YouTube, or restrict it. Uh, you got a lot of <laughs> scoffers. They're mad. they out of their fucking mind. So, hey, man, we living in them the time of prophecy. We got the end of the prophecy, which is going to be the which is the destruction of America, man. So we got to give thanks unto the Lord, man, to be be able to be alive and be awoke. And then you got to pray that the Most High keep you on your watch, to keep your eyes open, man. Right? Go ahead. You, you got, you got more on it. It says, yes, yeah, it's a lot more. It says, Oh, give thanks mm -hmm. unto the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, for He is good, for His mercy endureth forever. Right, the Lord is good, man. You ain't, you ain't. You got a lot of guys out there that talk proud and as if they so fucking high and mighty, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is good, man, and His mercy endure forever, and that's what you gonna need in these times. We was just speaking. You know they planted something with this so-called inauguration, mm -hmm. and it, and it go. It's a party that goes in from Friday into Saturday, Sunday. So it's a lot of things that could go down. You know, down there they they found I was bringing it out. Or earlier or whatever, they found a, a, a violent case full of, full of weapons. The brother from D.C. had sent me the article on it, you know? So they, they, they plan on setting up something, man. Yeah, and, and you know once it's set, that's what they're going to totally unleash yeah. martial law, total lockdown nationwide. Everybody, well, you already, you already know everybody's a terrorist. Yeah. As, on, far, on, as, the, as far as the average American citizen, so to speak. All right? Um, what do you call it? Enemy combat, combatants? Yep. All right? Yep. And it's going to really show. So we've been warning you of these things. You think it was a joke. But now you're going to see reality, man. Yeah. Because rea these words are going to speak. Hey, reality bites, as the old saying goes. Yeah. You know? It says, Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed. And the word redeemed means what? B bought back. Who did he buy back? The elect of Israel. Hmm. All right? And, when, and it's only the elect of Israel that's looking for the Lord to come back and destroy this place. It says, whom he yeah, has... Yeah, yeah, come and yeah. say this. A lot, mm -hmm. a lot of guys ain't really looking for your house shy to come back, yeah. man. Because if, if so, you'd be making yourself ready instead of out there monkeying around. A lot of you guys are looking for riches, looking for fame. You know, a lot of you guys do things for hits, for views. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and none of that's going to deliver you from what's coming, man. You know, we sitting here praying, hoping that we make it, man. You know, go ahead. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy, and gathered them out of the lands from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. Let me read that again. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. It's bad. It says because we, we, the live show last night we were going into that the Israelite foreigners. Mm -hmm. 
that the Lord's gathering all the brothers from all these different countries worldwide. Yeah. And they're not going to look like me or this brother. Yeah. They're going to look like the heathens. Yep. You ain't going to be able to recognize them. Exactly. Like you got the, uh, you know, the, you know, the, uh, brothers and jerk men of valor or whatever. They, um, did a series, which I mean, some of them do. So they, they, they got some heathens in there too, though. I'm just, just going to call it straight, man. Not all, but I, the point that they're making is that you got Israelites amongst all these other nations. But not every motherfucker you see rapping is an Israelite, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, they had one, it was like a motherfucker you can see it was a goop. Yeah. You know, but, you know, they, they, but they show a lot of different Israelites in the different, all kind of countries. And that's, that's what it is. That's the, the prophecy, man. You know? That's the prophecy, man. All right, brother, go ahead. It says, verse 3 of Psalms 107. And gather them out of the lands from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south, four corners of the earth. That's right. They wandered in the wilderness in a solitary way. They found no city to dwell in. Meaning what? When the Lord scattered us, we lost, we, we lost this. The knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of our power and who we were, our customs, mm -hmm. what to look for, look, look, what to look forward to. All right, and, and that's a cut to guys like they that's sitting there trying to establish these uh societies, you know, creating supermarkets and yeah, okay, that was, that was, that was, yeah, yeah uh, trying to establish these supermarkets and and libraries and all this and that. All right, it says. We ain't got no... Because the scripture said this is not our rest. We weren't brought here for that. All right, go ahead. They found no city to dwell in. Mm -hmm. Hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted in them. And it's not talking about hungry for food and thirsty for water. It's talking about hungry and thirsty for the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of this Bible. Well, well both. It's twofold. Uh, well, both. Yeah, it's twofold. Cut. It's twofold. All right, because what? You got a lot of... And the most I said... He gonna starve out a lot of Jakes. Gonna oh, starve yeah, out. Yeah, cut, that's right. The most I gonna get them, man. You know, and right now you got a lot of Jakes that's in poverty, that's starving. But those numbers are gonna increase, man. In the time that we're coming into, man. All right, go ahead. Hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted in them. Mm -hmm. Then they cried unto. And, and that's a, that's and that's when shit get real. When you ain't got nothing to eat. Mm -hmm. All right. When the Lord the Lord calls a food shortage, <sighs> like next week you wake up and there's a food shortage. The grocery stores don't have no meat. All the meat got recalled. All the products, there's nothing to eat. They, they took up the shelves are empty. That's when niggas going to want to know the answers. That's when you wake, when you can't eat. <laughs> See, a lot of you still able to eat. So, you you know, you, you, you still doing what you want to do. But when you can't eat, that's when you want to inquire the Lord. That's when you start wanting to look at the most side. But the Lord said, you're supposed to seek him while he may be fine. Found, pardon me. Because it's going to come a time where you ain't going to be able to find the, the Lord. It's going to come a time you're going to regret coming against the men of the Lord and, and speaking all your, your bullshit, okay? you going to, because the Lord is going to, man, these things are going to happen, man. Like it says in the 110th chapter, in the day of thy power, thy people shall be willing. Go ahead. Verse 6. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them out of their distresses. And that's talking about the elect. Yeah, not this go around. It's talking about the elect. That's mm -hmm. right. This go around is talking about the elect, because during the time of Egypt, the Lord delivered the whole the whole nation but what you had a whole lot of wicked ass niggas amongst israel back then whole lot that's why the lord had us walking around for 40 years in circles in, in circles in the wilderness man because it was wicked ass <laughs> niggas the most i said these niggas ain't going into the promised mm -hmm. land man all right he said they're not they're not going the majority only people that really made it was the men that was under 20 and, and joshua and caleb man you know, how even Moses didn't make it. The Lord said, only with your eyes, you're going to see it. Okay, because the most high punished Moses. You know? So this time around, the Lord is only going to save the elect. All right, go ahead. And he led them forth by the right way. Mm. And they that they might go to a city of habitation. Right, and see, and, and you apply this to today because this is modern day Egypt. And the Lord is getting ready. To, this is going to be the second exodus. See, that's what all this thing that's happening with the, the, the prophecies, all the destruction, which you got this Donald Trump. He's about to come into office and everything. And he already said what he's going to do, man. He said immediately he's going to start uh, uh, looking for illegal immigrants. You got these honkies. They out there 
On the, they showing their true colors. Matter of fact, brother. Uh -huh, I mean, I, I've been let, 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 keep bringing this scripture out a lot. Revelations 12 and 12 real quick, okay. man. All right. And then give me Job 20, the 20th chapter, man. Con. Revelations 12 and 12. Yep. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Right. The scripture says rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Go ahead. Con. It says, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. Right. Death and destruction. Because that's what's coming. Go ahead. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath. Having great wrath. And especially you niggas, man. You Negroes and Latinos and Native American Indians. Especially you. You about to really feel the wrath, man, of this devil, man. Okay? That's why you got a lot of these crack. They, they happy as hell, man. They dancing all. Yeah, they can't wait for Trump to come in there and do the shit that he said he going to do. And start putting these laws on, on you niggas, man. And, and trying to... But they, they don't know that they're going to get fucked up, too, though. That's the only thing they don't know. Yeah. You know, yeah, 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 because they're not a part of the, the, the deal. Yeah, that's right, man. It says, for, yeah, the, yeah. for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Mm. And is then the short time is here. And that's, and that's why all these prophecies are happening, like, at once, man. You know, you got, you got your so-called celebrities yeah. dropping dead. Yeah, yeah. All right, you got Donald Trump going in there proud as hell. And if you look, if you look at that guy's profile, he looks like a damn eagle, yeah, a proud yeah, eagle. Yeah, yeah. Like, I gave it to his face. A bald eagle. With yeah, a yeah, like, yeah, like a red, like a red bald eagle. You know, but that's like that's, that's good, that good, pride. Good, good. He, he's a pride. <laughs> his whole demeanor is proud, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, he's a pity to be a pride, man. That's a proud, yeah. So all proud these niggas, like, like the brother said, all these honkies, proud devil. right? So he he woke up these honkies, boy. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and they really believe. When that race war breaks out, they're gonna win. But that's good because the Lord put that spirit in them. Yeah, man. because they, man, you got, you got. Yeah. I've seen one, one thing. I've seen one thing on Facebook. There's a lot of different crackers. They coming out saying, "Well, yeah, we're we're happy. What's gonna happen, man?" Basically, they saying Trump's gonna put you niggas back in check. You know, he's gonna get get the people out of this country that don't belong here. All the illegal immigrants. When first of all, wait a minute, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, if that's the case. That means that you you crack you you crackers plan on packing up and going back to the, the caves or the Caucasus Mount the Caucasus Mountains. Yeah, because you, you do plan on here. going back to Sin, motherfucker. Yeah, this ain't, this ain't your country. You, know? you stole it, you bastards. Yeah. And you will pay for that too, man. And there's a lot of blood on this a land. A lot of blood. And man. the Lord talked about the the, the the blood in the land, about how you cleanse blood from a land. Yep. You you, you cleanse it by taking out the assholes who was killing, which yeah. is so-called white people. Yeah, that's right. That's right. All right. It says, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, mm. because he knows knoweth that he hath but a short time. All right. Mm -hmm. And, and yep. Go ahead. All right. Keep reading. No, no. I was gonna say go go to Job. Go, yeah, cut. Job twenty. Cut. I got you. Job twenty and um four. Knowest thou not this of old? Since man was placed upon the earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short. Right, because any time a, a society or a kingdom pumped itself up and, and became wicked, such as the United States, as America is, the Lord always came and smashed it and overthrew it. And that's how these devils said so the devil know he had but a short time because he know that the Lord said he was going to come back. Okay, he, the hell, you got these devils. They waiting on the second coming of the Lord, man. You know, they got the, the, the NASA uh, uh, satellites and, you know, orbital, orbitals and stuff out yeah. there constantly watching, man. They watching for what? For Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai to come back. So, and they know that that's normally what happen whenever a society becomes wicked as America is, man. So those are the, those are the things that, are, that's what's, that's what's happening, man. Mm -hmm. You know? So it says that the triumphing, meaning the rulership of the wicked, the wicked, you go to 9 and 24, it tell you the earth is given it to, you ain't got to get that. The earth, earth is given it to the hand of the wicked, right? Meaning the rulership. So the triumphing of the wicked, which is who? The so-called white man that's in power, that's feeling himself right now because they got Donald Trump up in there. They mm -hmm. all partying. He's bringing out all the, the, the these honk. They let you know how they really feel about you. And that's good, man. Because you mm -hmm. niggas thought you was going to, you know, you thought that this was the kingdom of heaven. You thought mm -hmm. you f found your great big happiness in America, man. You know, yet you ain't got shit. You being uh, uh, pursued left and right. You got the, the <coughs> white man trumping up charges on you. And see, we got to come at you straight up because 
man, you niggas, man, you you don't you don't learn, man. You man, well, brother, why y'all see why y'all call us niggas, man? Because guess what, man? That's the way you whack, man. And you don't and, and you gotta call a spade a spade, man. <laughs> and then the Lord said that for us to harden our faces against yours, just because you know you getting pissed off, we gonna come back at you even harder, man. Because you don't. That's what. That's the only thing Jake res respects, man. Yeah. Which you know, hey, at the end of the day, that's how a real man operates, man. Yeah, exactly. You know, I, and I'd rather you come at me straight up and then be slimy and sneaky and sideways and soft speaking to me, but you you really feel this what you yeah, know? But what was in your heart? Like yeah. For a white man. Fuck that, man. Yeah. And we gonna come out here and and, and cry, well, Isaiah fifty eight and, and one. Yeah. Okay, if you for the truth, you gonna. Honor and respect and know what time it is, man. All right, go ahead. That the triumphing of the wicked is mm -hmm. short and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. Right, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment, man. Because you got this Donald Trump. He's talking all this shit about uh, uh, how he's going to bring back justice and equality and everybody's going to be happy. But yet, in, in the spirit of God and Apostle to, uh, Gabor, to do the, the live show about the Central Park joggers, all right, and pull some old excerpts and, and, and clips from him. When he found out that he, he talked, he said, look, get them niggas to kill them niggas, basically. That's what he said. He said, kill them niggas in so many words, right? Then he found out that they were innocent, and they, they said, you going to apologize? He said, how? Basically, he said, how? No. Mm -hmm. All right? <laughs> and and, and, and um, I think he threw, who he threw under the bus? He blamed it. Who he blamed it on? Julian, one of them, I forgot, you know, them devils, that's how they are, man. They yeah. they throw each other under the bus, you know? But that shows you the manner and the type of devil that this devil is, man. Show you that the, the real, his real side is he don't give a damn about you niggas. And a lot of you niggas know it, and that's why you sitting up there and, and uh, marching and trying to rally, all right? You don't believe in the most side, man. You ain't praying to the Heavenly Father to protect you. You praying to the Heavenly Father to protect the United States or get it. Uh, put this other bitch up in the fucking office, man. And she hates you too. And she hates you too. And you guess what? You the same. All these niggas talk about they believe in God and the Most High, and they be up in these these churches, these whole houses, and they the same ones that was against the Lord two thousand years ago. You still against the men that the Lord sent out here, man. So how the hell are you right? And you gonna get everything that you you uh, deserve, man. Just like you scoffers, you you wicked, disobedient, disrespectful ass, you gonna get your just due, man. The Lord is gonna get all of you, man. He gonna light all you motherfuckers up, man. And and that's what this is leading into tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, that inauguration, man. That, that's you. You can mark it that that's gonna be the Boy, end, man. But this is a historical. This is a historical yeah, moment. Y'all thought fucking Barack Hussein Obama <laughs> going to office was a historical moment. Yeah, this is the real historical moment, man. Truly, man. So from this moment on, brother, it's destruction time. Yeah, and I can't see you know? nothing else after Trump. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? Trump, last Trump, the, la the last Trump, and that's, that's <laughs> the last Trump, and, and not <laughs> not Donald, like the brothers is saying. Yeah, not Donald. You know, cause yeah. we at we that's where we at the last Trump. Not Donald. It's, it's spiritual, man. Yeah, it's spiritual. Like the Most High do things in His time. I mean, we're always hastening the day. Shit, we wish this place was destroyed yesterday, but prophecy's got to happen, and then that's when a lot of you you niggas that came against the truth and, and spoke evil toward about the men of the Lord and yeah. the elders against dignitaries, you gonna, against dignitaries you gonna remember all that shit when you see these things happening man because who, who been telling you the longest about the mark of the beast you got a lot of people that sit there well y'all teach that oh so what the mark, you know like that's that's a big that's a big deal man hey, you gonna, and you're getting ready to see it that's a big deal man that's something that you can't just over talk that you never you can't talk about it enough man especially in the time that we in and seeing that they're enacting it and they're about to start chipping more people and, and then eventually forcing it on people who, who don't take it, you know? Seeing that they're setting up all these false flags. Man, the scriptures speak about be, be circumspect, man. You're supposed to watch what's going around you, man. All right? Then the scriptures are 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. These saying should give a, a, get an advantage over us, for we are not ignorant of his devices, man. Right, because yeah, you got certain dudes out there. Yeah, I'm GMS guys. All they do is watch the news, and they'll come back and talk. About, what the fuck are you supposed to do, dude? We're the watchmen. We're supposed to watch and see what's going on, whether it be the news or whatever. And we bring it back, we, and we mesh it with the scriptures and bring it up. That's our job. You, at, we're the watchmen. What's wrong with that? 
<laughs> what's wrong with that? Fucking idiots, man. You know what's wrong with that, man? See, the thing is, man. A lot of you guys, y'all, y'all ain't, y'all don't know what time we in, man. Y'all don't know what time we in, and that's why a lot of you guys are infatuated with the. Even though you you so you against us, you still looking for the elders that lead you. That's why you you constantly following and checking for us and you know scoffing or whatever the case is because you and deep down in your spirit you know the spirit of y'all about you outside dwell with with the uh, apostles and the rest of the brothers the men of gms and it's beautiful because you're going to see and the lord said it's going to be made known who his servants are right. because why when these things happen when you see martial law break out all of those if you keep it real with yourself who you going to think about when you see women starting to get fucked up uh, just the other day i forget where it was at. i don't know if you've seen it i it was uh, 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 this Jake, tall Jake, look almost like the Jake, Jake that they arrested for killing the cop in Florida, the big black black ass nigga. It was another big ass tall fucking Jake. I guess his baby mother, whatever they got into, I guess he either beat her ass or whatever the fuck he did. And then she went in the convenience store. And she was in there crying and got the phone to get help. And she, I guess she was calling 911. So I guess he, you know, the spirit guy, he walked up in there and she, you know, she was terrifying. They trying to make it all, oh, you can see that that is terror. That's a domestic, that's a, you know, he pumping that domestic violence and d domestic abuse on a woman. Oh my God, I feel so sorry for her. Look at that savage. He's a monster. Yeah. yeah. But hey, he, he, he handled those people in there. He had, he grabbed them out. He picked her ass up yeah, yeah. like nothing, like yeah. a, a fucking, fucking toothpick. And then threw her in the truck, stuffed her in there yeah. and drove off, yeah. man. Yeah. You know, but eventually, you know, I guess he must have kicked her out or whatever. They found a the chick looking for the dude. But the thing is, is that we've been telling you that the Lord, that's the prophecy, man. The Lord said he was going to rise, rise these jakes up against these women, man. The scriptures say, Isaiah, the 32nd chapter, verse 9, rise up, ye women, women that are, are at ease. It's not going to be a game, a roller coaster. So you used to riding off, man. Here it is, niggas get, get locked up behind these women. You no know, niggas coming to their defense, get killed. Or get locked up or whatever, vice versa. And it seems like she always gets away, right? Well, not no more, man. These women ain't getting away, man. <laughs> All right? The most size having you getting... The Lord's killing two birds with one stone, man. Oh, they found some woman in a dumpster in the Bronx. Oh, oh they, yeah. Oh, yep, I heard oh, about oh, that. All they found was a... a, a I heard a, about that. All they found was a, a torso and her leg. Not even legs. They found a leg and a torso. Somebody went, went to butchering on that bitch, man. You know, now they're trying to figure yep. out who the hell she was and all this and that. And you, you, you know it has got to be a dude that did it. Yeah. Whether it be her husband, her boyfriend, or some nigga she was just toying around with. Yeah. You know, so like, like, dude, brother, we're living in a time of, brother, total hell, man. People are mm -hmm. losing it. You know what I'm saying? You know, times as tough as it is, it's getting tougher. So dudes are just going, wait, wait, scripture say, men shall be haters of, of uh, what's that, Rob? Second Ezra, the 16th chapter. Where they should be hate, hating their neighbors. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. We're living in that time yeah. right now. We're, we're living in 2nd Ezra, the 16th chapter, the 15th chapter. Yeah. All right? Yeah. It's, uh, Joel. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It says that the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment. And the so-called white man's the biggest hypocrite. <laughs> yeah. Because he'll tell you he's a Christian. He believes in the Lord and the, the Bible. Matter of fact, tomorrow Donald Trump is going to put his red, dirty hands on some old Bible. From 1776, call himself swearing yeah. in. When the Bible itself told you he ain't supposed to swear on nothing in heaven or on earth, right? Mm -hmm. He's gonna swear in on the Bible, but then the law statute, the laws that they, they deal with, has nothing to do with the Bible. Yeah, like the, the uh, Indy Double A man, <laughs> right? That that's nothing. That has nothing to do with the, the laws of the Bible, man. That's that's all about enslaving you, you uh, you know, you people, man. All right. And in particular, you Negroes, Latinos, the real Israelites, but as well as you other nations, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. It says, so he's the hypocrite, as the Bible says. Kind of. And his time is for a moment. Verse six, though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds. Mm. Right. And, and that's twofold. His head, he, he, he's high minded. He's proud. Yeah. And look at his doings it, it, through, through his, um, what you call it? Through his technology and his inventions, yeah. they're able to go into space. Yep. They have satellites all over. Brother, everything is satellite. Yeah. Your whole life is satellite now. You got the internet, mm -hmm. whether it be your cable TV, whatever, your GPS system in your car. Yep. It's all satellite. So it's evident that it's talking about the so-called white man. Yeah, nowadays you got the gooks doing it, 
but they're doing it behind the so-called white men. Oh man, well, we're use, using my phone right now to record, but but um, well, you, I don't know if you. Well, I've mentioned it. If you, you know, if you want, you can get it. You know, you yeah. brothers can look look it up. I'm pretty sure you brothers will see it. North Korea, mm -hmm. right? Today they 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 threatened to launch some missiles, right? And they probably going to do it, but then they said it'll probably be a test. They're going to send a, a that's going to be their version of welcoming in the you know the new president with those nuclear missiles showing you know. Then Trump warned them they better not do it, and they're going they going to do it anyway. They're going to they're going to shoot some missiles off. They just said it again today. First they said he's going to put in straight up nukes, and and, and, and then they said they well they just nukes that they're going to test into the sea. But the reason the, how they know that they were doing it, they said that the reason why they know they said they seen the movement from the satellites. All right, mm -hmm. them satellites is the eyes in the sky, the mm -hmm. spot, you know, the spies in the sky, eyes in the sky. And they seen a whole lot of movement in the nuclear plants in North Korea, mm -hmm. and, and which confirmed the reports that they were getting from the insiders that's over there. You know, so they this ain't a thing of if is they they going to do it. They plan on doing it. And they know, but like the brother was saying, the technology, they know because they, they got their satellite. They can spy. They, they see us doing this show right now. Right. You know? But they know that they know that we're not doing nothing. We're no uh, terrorism. They know that we they know we the prophets. They know that we bringing out this truth. You know? And they plan on trying to make a move on us as well. Yeah, that's written. You know? But the Lord going to make a move on them. And we right. don't give a damn, man. You know? That's right, man. Yeah. You're right. It says, though his excellency mount up to the heavens... And his head reach unto the clouds, mm -hmm. yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. Yep. In other words, even though his technology is superb, I mean, the shit that they they got, we we can't even tell you half of the shit Esau got. Yeah. As far as his inventions, but even though he have all these great inventions, which by the way the Lord gave unto him, mm -hmm. all right, he didn't get it on his own. The heavenly Father put the spirit on his scientists to come with these things, right? So the Lord said, even though he 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 um. He's, he far exceeds all the nations on the planet Earth as far as his gadgets and all of that. He's still going to perish forever like a piece of shit. Mm. All right? Yeah, yep, that's beautiful, man. That's... It, and it says, they which have seen him shall say, where is he? <laughs> according to the prophecies, after a thousand years of slavery, the nation of Edom, which is a so-called white race, is going to be wiped the fuck away. So your biggest dream, the average cracker's biggest dream, yeah. is for all niggers to be wiped away. Right, right, All right. East, I mean, up East, didn't you? all the um, Native, Native Americans Native, to be wiped yep. away, all the Hispanics to be wiped away. That's your dream. Gentrification. But guess what? According to the Heavenly Father's plans, mm -hmm. you're the one that's going to be wiped the fuck away. That's right. And that's genocide. We're gonna, hey, you're going to be genocide against Esau, man, the nation of Esau. That's in the scriptures, man. That's right. All right, because you weren't, you weren't meant to be here for, for, forever, man. The Lord created you for, for and, and, where we at now. And furthermore, look at you. you. You're unnatural, man. You know, you eat them. You devils, you ain't got... You're just contrary to nature, man. That's why you do some <laughs> nasty things that, that you taught Jake. Jake. See, Jake do all the wickedness that they did because they learned it from the, these devils, man, these Edomites, that's man, right. as well as the other nations, man. Right, that's right. You know? But the most high, he don't need you Edomites on this earth no more. You don't, you play in, the only purpose you were created were really, really was to be the wicked so that we would know what it's like to go through wickedness so that when the Lord establishes us, we won't go off no more. We'll be totally righteous and perfect, you know, 360 degrees, man. Totally perfect, man. Right. All right, go ahead. Right, he says, he shall fly away as a dream mm -hmm. and shall not be found. Right. We ain't gonna be able to find America no more with a white man coming with his damn laws and statutes and telling you, trying to tell you what to do, man. That's gonna be a thing of the past, man. America, look, America, you gotta look at how deep this is, man. This, this, this country been in the power for a little while. This could be their very, this very well may be the very last year of the so called United States. That's how deep this thing is. Maybe if, if the Lord, if the Lord will, if maybe next year, but I can't. This year right here, we don't know. Yeah. This, this could a lot of things could happen in 2017 where the Lord could wrap this bitch up in 2017. So if you look at it for as long as America been in power and and now it has it's on it's on a life its last lifeline, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's about the flat line. In other words, America is about the flat line. It, that's that's just in itself, man. Yeah. Remarkable, man, and that's worthy to be praised. That's worthy to praise the Lord for, man, because it's about time. 
for this devil to be fucking put down and destroyed. It's about time for these wicked ass niggas to be put down, man. And the most I going to get, don't worry, brothers, man. I know brothers is angry, but hey, man, hold your spirits, man. Mm -hmm. Stay, you know, stay, you know, stay in the spirit, man. Stay spiritual, man. Watch the Lord get all these fucking niggas that think they doing something slick or talking slick. And all. Man, listen, that's nothing new, man. Listen, watch the Lord deal with them, man. All right? And y'all brothers are going to see the Lord deal with these niggas, man. Just like he's been dealing with a lot of these scoffers. Uh, shit, hell, we're the only ones that made a big deal about, about um, what's that nigga named? Ricky uh, D Davis? or No, not Ricky Davis. Ricky Harris. Ricky Harris, you know? I keep forgetting his last name. And now here it is. He was mocking... Really, he's mocking the whole Israelite community. Yeah. How come we the only ones that took offense to that, man? Mm -hmm. Really, I didn't see nobody else. A lot of them other dudes. Why? Oh, well, that is funny. You got to have a sense of humor. Nah, man, he's, he made mockery of his own heritage, and he made mockery of our heritage as well as making mockery of the most side yeah. with, with trying to front like they read in the scriptures and whatnot. And, you know, you can't you can't uh, mock the most side, man. But we're the only brothers that really got offended about that and really address that issue. Just like with, with uh Nate, just to throw another one out there, with the name of the Most High not being important and that you could call the Lord whatever you want to call him. We were the only one that took that serious. But now that's supposed to be all these other brothers or, or other groups, should I say, they claim to be Israelites, the real Israelites and this and that, but they didn't take, they didn't, that, that didn't bother them. Mm -hmm. So that shows you the level of how real a lot of guys are, man. You got a lot of guys out there, they only... They only so deep about being an Israelite, man. You know, it's just a thing to do. You know, they just they they're fine with everything else that happens. They're fine with being in America. Well, I'm an Israelite. They might stop eating pork or whatever. You ain't supposed to eat pork, brother. You know, some of them might grow their beard. Some of them got, don't do that. They line they shit up and cut it off and justify it with scriptures. Mm -hmm. You know, they into yeah. I'm a Hebrew Israelite, but we gonna have this big barbecue and show black Hebrew Israelite type. You know, they into all that that. That's not the spirit, man. The Lord ain't put us here to do that, man. All right, Micah 2 and 10, cut that, man. We ain't, you know, and, and don't get me wrong, brothers, do whatever we do. That's not, uh, we don't put that on camera. Yeah. You know, me and the brother, we might go and grab something to drink and whatever. You know, we ain't going to sit there and film us drinking it and chopping it up about whatever. You understand what I'm saying? Maybe we might throw some some music on, some throwback old school, because we both like old school shit, yeah. right? We might throw some of that shit on or whatever, but I ain't know we gonna make a video. Yeah, see, this is how Israel kick it. You know, we don't do no... Come on, man. That's, that's, that's MTV shit, man. Yeah, man. This ain't MTV cribs and shit and all that, man. Look, man, you do the videos, and the scripture should let everything be done for the sake of edification, man. You know, and that's why you see us... That's what we gotta be putting out is edification, because why? The times that we in, man. The times that we in, it's a lot of things that a lot of brothers out there don't know, all right? I'm talking about the sincere brothers... The young brothers that's coming in, the brothers that are scattered abroad, there's a lot of things. That's why Yahweh Shai said that the, truly the harvest is plenty, mm -hmm. plenty is. The labor is a few. But the labor is a few. Okay, the time is now, man. Ain't no, you know, a lot of you guys act like, you know, oh, that's something that's going to happen down the road. Nah, that's something that's going down now. All right, but well, go ahead, Brother Shlaki. It says, yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. Yeah, and, and we see that clear as day, man. Clear as day. And that's why these scriptures, we keep bringing them back. We keep bringing them back. Matter of fact, um, what's that? In First Peter's, uh, or is it Second Peter's 2 and 1? Yeah. Stirring up your pure, uh, uh, pure minds. Mm -hmm. Might be First Peter's okay. 3 and 1. Let's get that real quick. Let me, First let me, Peter's uh, 3 and 1. Just, yeah, see what yeah. that says. Cut. It says, no, no, it's probably Second Peter. It's like, what is it? Okay, it may, yeah, it's maybe Second Peter. Second Peter is three and one. Right, that's the Second Peter. Yeah. Like second Peter is three and one. This second epistle, beloved, I, I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds by the way of remembrance. Right, we got to stir up the pure minds, meaning the elect. By the way of remembrance, man. Okay, by remembering what? What the scriptures say, man. Not remembering having a good time. in Because in all reality, we ain't have no... Man, yeah, how the fuck you gonna really have a good time in America? What, what's the uh, the Psalm... 
the, uh, where they, by the rivers of Babylon. Yes, yeah, Psalms uh, 137. 137. Yeah. The enemy carried us away. They required yeah. us up of us a song. Yep. That's the white man making mockery, man. You got all these niggas. I mean, which niggas are getting mad, but boycotting other niggas or whatever the case is because they're going to be singing, calling them coons and this and that. Oh, well, well, hey, well, guess what? It's, it's one coon calling another coon a coon. Yo. There's different levels to being a coon. Yeah. I think I know what you're going to talk about. Yeah, well, got, the soul, soul man, my man, the same soul man, uh, Sam oh, and Dave. Oh, okay, nah, nah. I think, I, I, go I, 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 I think Sam is dead, so Dave is still around. Remember mm. that stupid song? I'm a soul man. Yeah. yeah da, 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 those are some da, 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 fucking coons right there. He's like, fuck yeah, I sing, I sing. Yeah, Dad, he, he gonna sing. He's like, he's like Donald, Donald Trump reminds me of me. <laughs> because, because he loud, he loud, just like I'm loud. You yeah, you got, you, hey, which the, that's super level coons. <laughs> and you got the other level of coons. Like, you got, <laughs> you got that, uh, that nigga Snoop Dogg. Oh, he had a nerve. Talk about, he said, man, anybody go out there, I'm a rum, a car, I'm a coon, coon, coon. But wait a minute, nigga. You a coon. You a coon, man. You was, you the same nigga that talk about, you don't watch no movies about slavery, man. All right? Don't be watching no movies about slavery, man. That ain't, that ain't about nothing. Whatever he tried to, whatever, I forgot why he said it, justified it. But nigga, the scriptures tell you, you ain't supposed to get your past, nigga. Yeah. Slavery, that, that's the truth, man. Okay, you be all high and all them, them fucking different type of, Bullshit you smoking and drinking, nigga. Then you go get your, your fingernails painted like some bitch. Man, you was an ultimate coon, man. Yeah, here That's did. a super duper coon, yeah, but you were ultimate coon. It's, it's levels of the coon, yeah, man. Yeah, different le levels. You got all coons. type of coons out there. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, Scary J. Blige. You know, <laughs> you know where yeah. I'm going, right? She yeah. did that song from Kentucky Fried Chicken. Then she hurried up and told him. And she gonna get mad at him, but she did the, the song. Yeah, I, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the song yeah, was yeah, kind of, yeah. it was kind of bad, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She kind of <laughs> killing it. You know, she, you know, she was... Yo, yeah, crispy chicken. <laughs> you you <laughs> fucking good ghetto hooch. But she got back cause, cause they released it. But the thing is, is why you did it though? Uh. I guess she realized. See, the thing is, Jake will wake up when it's too late. <laughs> I guess after she did it, she probably was having fun because she was getting all up into it. And maybe the check that they cut her might have been nice too. Hell yeah, can't right? see. Yeah, but but, but then when she saw herself back on the screen, she like, oh shit, I I played myself. I, I done did. I done did. It. But but that's when Jake. It's too late. Like with, the, with this election and presidency and all this voting and stuff like that, man. You Jakes are all going to find out that you all played yourself, man. You're going to find out that you all played yourself. All you guys that sat there and talked shit about all oh, them niggas, man, they, they ain't right, blah, 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 blah. You're going to find out that you played yourself when you start seeing this destruction happen. We've been telling and warning you for the longest about this destruction, man. There ain't no excuse for y'all not to know what's going on, man. Y'all ain't supposed to be acting all stupid and simple. But, oh, we can't believe what happened. Oh, we're going to have to march and do something to change. You know, man, that's on y'all, man. Y'all ain't been paying attention. All right? And the most I ain't going to be with you, man. Mark our words. The Lord is not going to be with you niggas, man. That's right. The Lord is not going to be with you simple-ass niggas that love America, man. That's going to be sitting there trying to march, rally, protest, vote, celebrate. The Lord ain't going to be with you niggas, man. That's right. You know? Con, Go ahead, brother. This is uh, 2 Peter 3 and 1. This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. Right. So what, what Snoop talk about don't watch no movies on slavery. Yeah. And you got a lot of other so-called Negroes or Negro leaders or, you know, amongst the Latin community that sit there and talk about, yeah, well, the past is the past. We got to move on. From Nigga, you can't go nowhere. And, and at one time, niggas was... They will at least uh, quote with, um, what's the guy, Alex Haley? He had that quote, uh, 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 a, if a tree that doesn't know its roots, doesn't have a future. Yes, that was man. an old old saying, if I'm saying the correct, proper way, all right? And, and then there's the other saying, if you don't know your past, how could you know your future? You know, in other words, you're supposed to know your history, man, all right? And you're supposed to know the right, your right history, because you got a lot of so-called niggas that think, I'm educated, I know... I know who I am. I'm a black man. Yeah. Oh. I come from black man. I come from Africa, nigga. Hotep. Hotep, nigga. The ancestors and the elders of the, of the, of the kinetic science. Nigga, you, you sh shut the fuck up. You don't know who the fuck you are, man. You don't know what's going on, man. You still ain't woken up, man. You still sleep. You call yourself African, kinetic, you know, black, African-American. You ain't woke up, man. You really should just shut the hell up, man. Because you ain't woke up. You see? But go ahead, brother. 
that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken. You're supposed to be mindful of the words that were spoken. See, our way, like the brothers told we earlier, us losing our way was these scriptures, man. The knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the scriptures, man. You're supposed to be mindful of, the, of these things, man. Go ahead. That ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken by before by the holy prophets and of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. Knowing this first. And by the commandments of us, the apostles of, of our Lord and Savior, because the Lord gave the, the, men, the, the, the men the power to make certain, put out certain orders, which is what? The, the righteous orders according to the, the scriptures, man. The Lord told Peter, whatsoever thou bound on earth should be bound in heaven. All right? So there's certain men, and a lot of you guys, you, you know, and somebody has to be these men. Like I said, if, if, if it ain't the apostles of GMS and the brothers of GMS, then where the fuck are these guys at, man? Yeah. Where are these? Please, if there's somebody else out there that's more dedicated or, or into this truth than the apostles of GMS, okay, and I'm talking about the, for the truth, please show me where they at, man. Go ahead. It says, knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lusts. Right, and, and we see that happening right now, all right? And that's been happening. And that's, yeah. that's nothing new, man. That's why I said, brothers, don't, hey, don't worry about it, man. You know? Let the scoffers scoff, man. They're going to watch these videos, other videos, and they, you know, they're going to scoff, talk, whatever shit they're going to talk. Let them talk whatever they want to talk, because at the end of the day, the, the elect is going to be delivered, man. Yahusha said, none is lost. Save the son of perdition that the scripture may be fulfilled. All right, so go ahead. And saying, where is the promise of his coming? And that's what it's all, that's what it, we boil it all the way down. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. These guys are scoffing. They were once so called amongst us. Now they're not a part of it no more. Let's just talk about yeah. that. They're not amongst us because they were never a part of us. Mm. Now they are, they're scoffing. You know why they're scoffing? Because overall, they don't want the white man to go down. They want America to keep going. Yeah. They enjoy the fact that, now they talk about Barack Obama's legacy. What was Barack Obama's real legacy besides Obamacare? Faggots getting married. And you're totally with that. Obama do shit for you niggas. He did something for the faggots, though. He yeah, allowed them yeah. to get married, to get alimony. To join the army. Obama join the army. And they, and, they could, and they could wear their wig in the army. Mm -hmm. And a dress. All right? And then that Obamacare, that <laughs> really, that's to your destruction, too, because <laughs> chip. that involves the chip. The yeah. RFID chip was in, in there. And then as well, he, he passed and help fund the uh, past legislation to fund the uh, NDAA mm -hmm. to where now they got, they got the right to take away your, your so-called constitutional rights. That's what that, that's another law that takes away the, you know, your so-called constitutional rights, your power to freedom of speech. Okay. Your, uh, privacy act, <coughs> your, uh, right to due process. Okay. You, you can't really technically protest, man. They, because of, of what Obama did, a lot of you Negroes could be locked up and detained indefinitely, man. Yeah. You, the habeas corpus don't apply to you no more because of the, the what Obama did, man. Go ahead. It says, and saying, where is the promise of his coming? Mm -hmm. For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. So in other words, they have no faith that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is coming back. Then they make statements like, oh, shit, dude, my, grandpa, my grandparents said the same thing. Mm -hmm. But see, what you don't realize is that in your grandparents' time, the shit you see and happening now wasn't happening back then. Right. So anybody who's watching and who's wise will know, well, wait a minute. In, uh, in past generations, the shit that's happening now, this wasn't happening. Yeah. We gotta, something's got to be, something's ha ha something has to be getting ready to happen out here. Yeah, man. yeah, some, yeah, some got to you know? get ready to go down. Yeah, you, yeah you're right. Like, it, it's never been... How the, the level of, of these kids, like, you see how fucked up these kids. First of all, man, if you were to judge it by the, the, the so-called youth, you would know that there's no future, man. These, you got these, the youth, the, the youth nowadays, the, the men act like women and the women act like men. Yep. The little boys are acting like little girls. They all, remember we, we, we've seen that, that you, that you said he was a, probably was a Haitian boy sitting there waving oh, all oh, like Oh, yeah, 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 you did, yeah, he did a fake, yeah, he, yeah, he, he did a fake. He's to the, to the, he's waving at these girls, he's more sweet than they was, man. Yeah. And we watch it like, but that's the new generation that's out there, man. You know, you got a lot of people that try to justify, ain't no justifying it, man. Look, man, if it wasn't for the Lord, we'd be fucked, man. 
All right, because there's definitely no future, and it's going to be more and more hell poured out upon our people on top of that, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Go ahead, brother. You got, you got it. It says, and saying, where is the promise of his coming? Mm -hmm. For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. Mm. For this, they, for this, they and, are. And right, and, and that's, how, that's what gets people going because they don't see the actual destruction. They don't know that the, the scriptures tell you in uh, Nahum, was the first chapter, I think it is, one and two or somewhere around here that the Lord is, matter of fact, if you, if you get a chance, mm -hmm. grab that up. Nahum, I think it's one and two. Mm -hmm. Okay, they don't understand the characters of the Heavenly Father. Yet they claim that they're into the Bible. They claim they know the scriptures. Oh, you can't teach me nothing about that, but I know all about that. But meanwhile, they ask the questions. How did this happen? Why, why is Trump about to be president? They don't know what the fuck they're supposed to do. You got people, well, I got to do something. I'm going to go down there and rally. Don't know that you could be getting ready to go down there to get snatched up into a, a damn, put in a detention center or a concentration camp, man. You got it in uh, Nahum? Nahum 1 and what now? The second, is it the second verse? I One and two? Yeah, I think it's the second one. It says, the most high is jealous. Right. All right, hold up. <coughs> Sorry. That's all right, bro. fucking cold. Hey, we, 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 hey, we up, fucked man. up in Babylon, man. You know? You, know, we, you know, hey, brother, that's part of the curses, too. And that's the reasons why you should be looking to, to, to get out of here. Like, you know, brothers going into the live show and everything. Uh, I mean, the pot, Apostle Tar was going on his live show at the same time you brothers was doing a live show about the kingdom, you know? Basically, you're supposed to be reaching, seeking the kingdom, brother. That way you ain't got to worry about no more sicknesses, that that, that whooping cough that, we, you know, we, we all got, you know, that a asthma, bronchitis. Man, look, man, we got all kind of ailments, man. You know what I'm saying? And we ain't going to have them in the kingdom. Your, knee, your knees ain't going to be hurting, your ankles and shit, you know? You know what I'm saying? You, you ain't going to have to worry about your back, having to get a back rub and shit from your demon or whatever. You ain't got to worry about that type of shit, man.